Hi there, I am Tal and I want to show you a new Blender add-on that I've started to work on. The add-on is called Back Anim to Empties and it is used for automating animation techniques such as space switching. So in this first example, I have a basic FK chain of bones moving back and forth on the x-axis. I'm selecting all the main bones and pressing on Bake Anim to Empties. The only option that I change here is the bake location because I want to bake the empties to the tails of the bones. So now I have empties baked to the tail of each bone and each bone is constrained to the empty. I can now do an offset to the empties. I can either do it manually in the dope sheet or timeline editor. Or I can use the add-ons function offset keyframes. So now with just a few clicks, I have a follow through motion or a tail animation. Let's select now also these two small bones. These bones are parented to the main bones, but are disconnected. So I will press back anim to empties and now I will back the empties to the heads. So the base of the bones but I want it until frame 30 because now the animation is longer because of the offset now I will do another offset so now the, the, bo the small bones move from the base with the offset all the bones are constrained back to the empties if I don't like the setup and I want to remove the whole thing, I can do a quick cleanup and be back to where I was at the beginning. But if I do want to keep the animation, I can also do a quick bake constraints, which will bake the animation to the bones and then do a quick cleanup to all the empties and the constraints. Let's look at some other settings. Select all the main bones. Bake any to empties. Do tails again. Let's now add a child empty control and a parent empty. I can select which object or bone the uh, parent will be aligned to or I can leave it empty if I want it to be aligned to the zero world position and rotation. Now I do again offset keyframes. And now I have the same follow through motion. But now each empty have an extra control. So these empties have all the keyframe animation, which were baked. But they have a child empty. So I can also add keyframes to the child, this child empty, which will be like a layered animation, but through parenting. And I will also have a parent to all these empties. If you want to learn more about space switching, you can also check these YouTube tutorials from Pierrick Pickout, which explains the ideas behind space switching using Blender. The add-on is basically automating this technique into a few clicks using different options. The next example is a more common use of space switching. In this example, I have this creature moving forward using its root motion. I want the creature to move forward but to keep the root controller in its zero position and rotation. So I'm selecting all the main IK controls and the torso and the head since it's kind of disconnected from the rest of the rig. Now I press on back anim to empties. I keep the location of the empties in the base of the controller, so in the heads, but I add a parent empty. I change the size to one so I can see them better. And bake. Now I have all the animation baked to the empties and the controllers constrained to the empties.
So now I can just select the root motion, the root controller, and delete its keyframes. And now the creature is still moving forward, but with the root motion staying in its place. Another thing that I can do is I can select the parent empty, give it some rotation, let's say 45. So now I have the creature mo moving in a different angle but keeping its root motion. This is something that is very useful for games. Let's select the rig and quick bake constraints. So I bake the animation back to the original action. In the next versions I'm also planning to add a smart bake that will keep the original keyframe count and have a smoother transition into the original action. Also I'm planning to add some more functions using helper empties such as temporary pivot parent and motion path offset.